everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your mini loop band upper body workout. So in this workout, we're gonna work the entire upper body, so arms, back, shoulders, chest, a little bit of core, and keep your heart rate up from, for cardio using the mini loop bands. So I will put a link in the description of my favorite ones. You can just check out down below. Most of them come in a set, so if you have more than one, keep them close by. You may wanna switch them out. As always, I'll give you lots of options, so work to your fitness level. All you need for this workout is your mini loop band and a mat. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna start with just a quick little warm up. Let's roll through the shoulders to the back and to the front. Make sure your bands are out of the way where you're not gonna trip on them. One big deep breath in and out. Let's do that one more time. As always, we'll keep this warm up kind of short. Take your arms out wide and let's just do a little lean as we rotate rolling through the shoulders, the elbows, the wrists, really getting it all the way through. If you need more of a warm up, please get it on your own. Walk your feet in. Let's just take those arms across and out. And then same thing with those palms up. And then let's take it out wide. We're gonna roll through your back, take it flat down and round it up. Take it flat. And we'll go one more, we'll hang out at the bottom, open out nice and wide, and just roll through those shoulders one at a time, just like this. Four, three, two, good, walk it in, round it up, and just some little tap reach across. So again, we're gonna stick it all upper body today. So a lot of arms and back, a lot of shoulders, most of it will get your heart rate up, but I will be giving you some options if you wanna add a little more movement for cardio, or if you want to add a tiny bit of lower body, but mostly it will be for cardio's sake. So upper body workout where I will give you some other options, but our arms and back are our focus. Go ahead and bring those knees up. And again, if you have more than one mini band, keep them close by, you may wanna switch out. For the upper body, we can usually go medium or even a little bit lighter. Lower body with those big, strong legs and glute muscles, we can use our heavier bands. Little stretch, but you work to your fitness level. You be where you are today. You know, I always say that. And if you showed up today, you are successful. All that matters is that you're here, you're doing the moves safely, and you're moving your body. Okay. So let's go ahead, grab your band. I'm gonna grab my medium one here. And we're going to start with a little pull down. So I want you to grab it here. We're gonna grab it with our hands first. And I want you just to pull those elbows down. So core is in tight. Think about zipping up that core. Watch me here. If you can be here or one foot back, I want you to be out in front of your body, pull out and squeeze. So a few things are happening. I'm bringing my elbows behind my body, squeezing in the shoulder blades while I'm also pulling up and in with that core. So on the exhale, especially if maybe you are postpartum or you're doing this workout, if you are pregnant, using the tension of the band to also engage that core, pull everything in, that TA breathing we talked about, transverse abdominis, really good for everybody to engage the core. You decide how far out you wanna pull with that band, so you're not just pulling down, you're also creating that tension by pulling out. Up to you if it feels too light, you can grab your heavier band. So let's add a little bit of a tap with our feet. If you want, this is optional, if you wanna just keep the upper body, and as you get tired, I know those shoulders are really feeling it, think about squeezing the shoulder blades in just like you would with a row. And if you really wanted a little extra cardio or even a little bit of legs, you can make that a lunge, but totally fine to just keep the tap or just keep it regular. So squeeze, here we go for four, feeling it, right? Three, two, and one, relax that down. So give your hands and wrists a little bit of a break from that grip, we'll be taking some breaks and just stepping out so we're gonna keep that same motion. This time, I want you to put your hands on the inside of the band, right? We're gonna have a nice tight fist. We're gonna do the same motion, except we're gonna squeeze out here. So you may be able to get out a little bit further, just not having to grip and pull with your arms, but still thinking, pulling the elbows down, pulling the core up and in, and pulling those elbows behind to squeeze in the shoulder blades. 
And again, if you wanna do little taps, you can, just for a little bit of cardio, or a lunge, up to you. Breathe. Let's go four more. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Roll those shoulders out, right? Whoo, we feel it again. Roll through the wrist. Little step touch while we keep that heart rate up. Give everything a little bit of a break. So that was a lot of back and shoulders. Now we're gonna switch gears to a little bit of biceps and triceps. So watch me here. I'm gonna hold the band here and hold the band here. So one up, one down. I'm gonna keep this one down by my hip. So just keeping it there, I'll be engaging the triceps or even a little bit lower if you need more tension. And then I'm gonna take that bottom band, pull it across. So bicep curl, just like this, right? While I'm holding the tension with the other arm. So both are working, biceps and triceps, but we're pulling across our body. Here we go, for eight, squeeze, seven, six. If this is not enough tension for you, grip a little lower or switch those bands. Three, two, so watch me here. I'm gonna hold this one at the top, keep that bicep working nice and tight, maybe at my collarbone, take this here, push down. So now we're doing the opposite, right? Now we're activating that tricep, keeping that bicep working just like this, right? Push down, extend through the back of that arm, and breathe, here we go. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo, we feel that, right? That tension really makes everything work. Let's just do some little knee raises before we switch those arms to give our hands a little bit of a break. Roll through those wrists for four, three, two, let's switch it here. So other hand at the bottom, other hand at the top. Remember, we're gonna hold it low, whatever works for you, either at the hip or all the way down. Pull that bicep curl across your body. So it's gonna be a smaller range of motion. I know we're used to a bicep curl being all the way here. You're just coming across as much tension as you can get, still working through the arms. Breathe, keep squeezing for eight. I know it's a little bit awkward with that grip, that's okay, that's what's kind of nice about these bands is you're still gonna get that work. Three, two, hold it at the top, bring it in nice and tight, and then push down so bicep is working, push with tries, push and up, right? Extend through, keep breathing, push it down, getting the back of the arms while we get this bicep working, Keep pushing, eight more singles, eight, breathe, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, shake them out. Whoo, I hope you're feeling that. And again, if you've got two bands, or even three, and that's feeling too light, go ahead and switch out to that heavier band, even if you've got a smaller range of motion. Let's bring those knees up, toss your band to the side, we're gonna get a quick sip of water after this. So little cardio interval, you can just do low impact. Knees are here or here, or little jump, jump. It's up to you for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Relax, you didn't think you were gonna get cardio today, even though I said it. Grab a quick sip of water, and we're gonna go back to that band back to those back muscles and we're going to take the band out in front of our body so think like a seated row at the gym or a bent over row that you would do with dumbbells we're going to grip it first so remember you're gripping nice and wide out in front of your body i actually want you to put one foot back and we're just going to squeeze just like this squeeze one foot back here pull those elbows back so this is not quite enough tension for me, so I'm gonna switch it here, making sure I can pull out a little bit and pull my shoulder blades behind. Squeeze, breathe for four, three, two, 
once. So just like we did with the upper pull down, I want you to now put your hands through, same motion, but you're pushing out as you pull in. Squeeze. And if you want, add those taps like we did with the pull down. Pull those elbows behind. It's not just here or here. Really squeeze as if you're trying to touch that band right in your midsection and pull those elbows behind while you're pushing it out. Lunge it if you want. Little extra. I know it's not a leg workout, but you might want it. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. And relax, shake that out, right? Woo, breathe. Shake it all the way through. Roll those shoulders. Let's just do little taps in front where we give our hands a little bit of a break. And we're gonna keep with working those back muscles, but we're gonna pull down one at a time. So let's go back to this grip. We're here. Let's take our toes out. I'm gonna pull one down and up. One down and up. Watch me, I'm pulling that elbow right by my side. And breathe, core is in tight again. On that exhale, pull that core in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, relax it down. Let's keep that same motion. If you want, we can add a little plie squat, totally optional. Watch me here. Just a little cardio, adding a tiny bit of legs. If you don't feel like doing legs today, no big deal. You just keep that pull, breathe. But if you can, yes, here we go. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Tap it out, roll through those shoulders. We're taking it here. All right, so let's keep everything working. We're gonna hold it here again with that grip. I know your hands are feeling it, but we're gonna take it extending out for triceps. So I'm gonna switch to my lighter band. We're gonna take it out to the side, Think extension. So I'm nice and wide, shoulders and back and working. I know they're tired. We're almost time to take it down to the mat and then extend out long. So you decide if you have too light of a band, you're gonna wanna grab your other one or move this in a little closer. If you can be nice and wide, extend my right, your left. Here we go, push out and here, push out and here. Elbows are up. I know we're starting to get tired of that tension and those hands are gonna need a break. We're gonna get it and breathe. If you want, little step out, step and in, step and in, or even a little bit of a squat. Here we go for eight, whew, seven, or just a tap, six, five, four, three, two, yes, and relax, roll those out. So I know it feels a little bit weird because you might not be able to get the full extension, but you're still working those tries and then working the back and shoulders just by holding it up. Let's go other side, here we go. So extend it out, elbows are up nice and wide, level with your shoulders so you're not here or up here in the center, push it out, extend as much as you can, Tap if you want, so little tap out to the side, same side as you're extending for the arms, or a squat, up to you. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, relax. Roll those shoulders out, right? Ha, 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 stretch them back roll them through and let's go ahead and grab a quick sip of water. We're gonna get one little cardio interval. Since we're working our arms, but to give them a little bit of a break, we're just gonna do a shuffle and punch. Little cardio, but also arms. You can keep it nice and low impact, or if you want a little more, 
breathe. Because after this, we are taking it to the mat to finish with some upper body with the bands on the mat, sneaking in a little bit of extra core, right? For eight, seven, low impact is here, six, or a big shuffle, four, three, two, one, and relax. So catch your breath, roll through those arms and especially through those wrists that have been gripping, and we will take it down to the mat with our bands. Okay, so we are down on the mat with our bands. So we're gonna go ahead and come over into an all fours position. So I'm gonna give you a couple of options. The modification is gonna be staying on all fours. I want you to go ahead and put this band around your wrist just like this. So we're here, and I want you to stay, if you need to modify, stay on all fours. You can still keep that core engaged, and especially if you are pregnant in your second or third trimester doing this, or maybe you're newly postpartum or know that you have some ab separation, I want you to stay right here. But we're here, and we're just going to take it out and in. So we're just extending out through the shoulders while we keep everything working. If you want that challenge, you can come all the way up into that full plank and take it here. So join me when you're ready. You can, again, either be here on all fours, out and in, just going as wide as is comfortable for you. You're gonna feel that core or all the way up, out, in, out, in, right? We feel it pretty quickly in the core, in the shoulders, in the arms. Let's keep it going. If at any point you need to drop to the knees, try to keep the arms going. Let's go eight seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax, stretch it back, right? Feel that pretty quickly, feeling that core. And we're gonna go ahead and again, stay on the knees if you need to modify, but we're gonna put our hand on one side and take it here and watch me. I'm gonna bring it up, drop it down. Bring it up just like a row. And then if you are able, I'm gonna have you bring it up, lift up those knees. Bring it up, lift up those knees. So we're just adding a little extra core in the center and up. That might not feel as comfortable to you. If not, just stay down on the knees. Squeeze and squeeze. Here we go for four lift three two one more and relax go ahead and switch those hands so your other hand is going to hold it at the bottom other hand is gripping figure out what is best for you bring it up how did i do that up and down i'm going to turn this way so you can see starting on all fours elbow up Core's engage. Then if you want, bring it up, lift for core. Bring it up, lift for core. Up and breathe. Keep it going. If that feels like too much, just keep those knees down. You're still gonna be engaging that core. But if you can, lift. Let's go four more. Four three, two, one more, and relax, stretch it back, good. So one more from here, we're gonna put those hands here, and again, you can stay on your knees, if you need a little break for your wrist, just sit back into it, or you're gonna have the option to go up to that full plank. So we're here, instead of going out to the side, we're just reaching forward, reaching forward. So core's engaged, Go as far as is comfortable for you. I know if you have a tighter band, you might not get out that far, that's okay. Then if you want, take it here. Reach back, reach. It's not easy, but you're strong, you can do it. We're finishing out this workout on the mat. Stay on the knees if you need to. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and relax, right? Whoo, breathe very carefully. I want you to come down onto your side. So we're here, bottom hand is here, top hand is here. 
We're gonna pull that elbow behind. So think that you're trying to pull it behind depending on how much resistance you have in your band. So start with that, again, working the back and breathe. Then either on the knees or all the way up, we can add that core. Little lift and down, lift and down with the knees or all the way up on the toes. For eight, seven, yes, core, six, and five, four, three, two, one more, and relax, right? Ooh, stretch that back, roll through to that other side. You can just flip over or turn around like me. Bottom hand is holding that band. Make sure you're in alignment, core is pulled in, start down, lift, here we go. Pull it behind, squeeze, and then if you want, lift up either on the knees or all the way up on your feet. Here we go, for eight, breathe, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good, bring it in, stretch it over, and breathe. We are so close. So let's go ahead and go all the way down on our backs. Come to your side first, and you're here. And if you're one of my pregnant mamas, we're not gonna stay here very long, but if you feel more comfortable propped up on some pillows, then please do so. We're gonna take it out right here. Hands are again nice and through, and we're just gonna squeeze down, press it up. So imagine that you're doing a press up, even though the tension is as you pull out, I want you to think push up in the same way and breathe. And then if you wanna add a little core, you can march. This is generally safe for everybody. But if you can, you can do those little toe taps, pull out and squeeze, breathe. And if you want even more, bicycle, up to you, breathe, keep pushing. Any of those options will do, just the upper, upper and march, upper and taps, upper and bicycle, breathe. Four more right here, four, Three, two, one, relax. Stretch that up over your head and breathe, right? So we got a lot of things working through this entire workout. I grabbed that opposite band, right? Whoo, so one more here. I want you to pull it here. Hands are going on the outside and watch me here. I'm just gonna push and down push and down. So it's a little bit of an extension through the tries. You can even bend those elbows if you want more triceps, if you want more shoulders, arms out. And again, if you want, you can bring those feet up, keep it down. If you're one of my prenatal, postnatal, if you can, scissors, scissors. And again, it's just a little rotation and push. If you want more tries, bend through the elbows. You might feel it a little bit more and breathe yes four more right here four three two one you did it big stretch over reach those hands over your head breathe into that and very carefully roll over onto your side stretch it back you did it I know that is a lot. And just bring it up, just roll through cat to cow, cat to camel. Inhale in one, exhale in the other. So keeping it pretty simple with those bands. Again, you're working against the tension, so it might feel a little awkward. Don't worry, you're still working. Have a seat, reach those hands to the back, open up the chest. And again, if you are looking for a good set, I have my recommendations right in the description below, check it out. 
Also in that description, you will find some links to my eBooks and programs. Those are just structured programs that go along with these YouTube videos. If you're looking for a little more of a schedule, a little more of a routine, check them out, reach it over as well as my nutrition guide. It's not a diet plan. It's not restrictive. It's just real food for real people. A way to give you a little bit of structure, but a lot of flexibility, help you learn to build a balanced plate. All of that is right below. Whoo, reach those hands in front. And as always, check out all of my other YouTube videos completely free here on YouTube for you, including other resistance bands. I have some with the long bands and several with the loop bands, which are my favorite. Good roll through those wrists. I know we we're doing a lot of gripping, so if you feel that, that's normal. Let's go ahead and push those down and let your head drop. So we're stretching that forearm, the wrist, chest, shoulder, bicep, and then of course head and neck. And then other side. And breathe. One big deep breath in. If you showed up today, thank you for showing up. You are successful. That was your mini loop band upper body workout. Great job, everybody.